Hi, welcome to a new video from the series Get More Customers Using Marketing Automation. This time we'll go very, very deep in helping you to build what is called a marketing persona or the avatar of the client or how it looks like your ideal client. It's a little easier for business to consumer and it's a little more complex for business to business but the process is the same and even you can add a face to your ideal customer. You can choose from this collection or you can add something else and you will have access in the members area to this amazing and very simple to use checklist and here you can stick one of the photos from uh, the other page or you can stick some other photos and the import the basic and the most important elements of the marketing persona are age gender marital status education industry occupation location and salary let's go even deeper and we have some questions and asking yourself uh, these questions and you can brainstorm them with your team or with some i don't know external sources and friends by uh, having the correct answers to 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 these questions you will be able to go a set very very deep with building your marketing persona and we, it will help very um, uh, very much your business because by knowing exactly who this person is or maybe you have more than one person you will know how to communicate what tone to use what words which will trigger a certain reactions and so on so you will be able to customize everything and the results will be much much better than the one you are having right now and if you are starting a business by using this blueprint your results will be amazing from the start right okay so what are their personal characteristics is this person shy and retiring or are they confident or outgoing where are they in the career describe how their career has taken shape from living education have they reached their career goals or do they aspire to greater heights so analyze where they are in uh, the career what about the company the company they are working in if of course if they are not entrepreneurs if they are entrepreneurs also analyze their own business right so if your person persona is working uh, what company do they work for how many people work at the company and which is the company's turnover right also what are their day-to-day day-to-day roles from the professional point of view how a day in the life of your marketing persona looks like it's very important also um are they a financial decision maker do they have budgets on uh, on hand do they have also a purchasing decision analyze analyze that and also what factors shape their decision to buy if they have, have access to such powers right what skills and tools do they use does your persona need any particular skills in their everyday lives what are they do they use any particular tool in order to help them uh, live their lives? So uh, find the answers to those questions. What struggles do they have? If you ask me, I believe everybody has some struggle at a certain point because nobody's perfect and this is the answers of life. So um, find out which are the struggles of your marketing persona. Also, how are they currently overcoming their problems? Uh, Tony Robbins said that problems um, are a sign of life. You, when you don't have any problem, you are dead. So find out how are they overcoming the current problems? What programs they use? What trainings? What tools? What coaching? Everything you can uh, learn about that. Why would they object to using your product? Usually uh, in sales, objections are, ans are, are questions, supplementary questions, and you need to address them to help them overcome the objections and even include the answers to those potential questions 
in the sales page, in the sales materials, right? What does the social life consist of? What does this person do to unwind and relax? Um, who are their circle of friends and how often do they get together? Also, what publications do they read? What books uh, do they read online, offline? Um, uh, which are their sources for purchases for magazines, publications and, and books? What are their social media habits? Describe what social media platforms this person is using regularly and how they are using it. What are their dreams? What does your persona want to achieve from their life? Do they want to be rich and successful or are they content with where they are in their life? It's very important. What was their last purchase or uh, last group of, of purchases, right? So if you can find this, it will offer you amazing insights. Uh, what was their last thing that your persona purchased and what influenced their decision to buy? Do they belong to any clubs or associations? Do they pay like memberships to be part of a certain clubs and associations? This will help with the peer group principle because you will know also where uh, their friends are hanging out like in other groups groups and uh, clubs and associations also what does their personal life look like describe their personal life to get an insight into what makes them thick right okay how do they stay fit and healthy if it's the case uh, what is their political orientation it can help a lot do they have any religious belief what hobbies do they have? What is their favorite film or TV show? What was the last book they read? How often this person used the web? And also, uh, which is their favorite genre of music? Of course, you can add more questions or you can um, um, modify some of them, but here is a checklist, a blueprint you can use to go very, very deep with building your marketing persona. So the next step is to actually start using it and think about your current business or your potential business or think about an opportunity which is not at uh, a business at the moment and define your marketing persona, your client avatar, your ideal client and start everything from there. Thank you very much.